Meteorologist David Bernard has the new update on Hurricane Ida coming up on Fox 8 News at 10. Fox 8 News is New Orleans' most watched late news. Fox 8 Local First starts now. Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Kim Holden. Just moments ago, the Hurricane Center released the newest track on Hurricane Ida. Let's get straight to Chief Meteorologist David Bernard with the latest. Well, if there's any good news, there's no big surprises. The bad news is it's still forecasting a major hurricane to reach the Louisiana coastline. Category 1, now positioned 600 miles southeast of New Orleans, moving northwest at 15, and winds right now still at 80 miles per hour. It's just emerged off the Cuban coast. Coastline. Here is the strengthening over the central Gulf still expected tomorrow and by tomorrow evening a category three storm with 120 mile per hour winds still forecasting a category four by Sunday morning. Now notice this is Sunday morning. Watch the next position. That's going to be Sunday evening at 7 uh, at 7 p.m. And it shows it reaching the coast as a category three with 125 mile per hour winds. I don't want anybody to get too excited about that, indicating that we might have some kind of rapidly weakening storm. Storm, but there are indications that conditions may not be great over southeast Louisiana and that Ida could begin to fall apart fairly quickly once it makes landfall. But the center line has not changed at all tonight. Now watch what happens between the Sunday evening and Monday morning. It's still moving very slow. It takes 12 hours to get from the coast to Baton Rouge, but it quickly weakens to a tropical storm. That still means there's likely going to be hurricane force gust at least in the Baton Rouge Rouge area and then in Jackson, Mississippi, continuing to weaken to 40 miles per hour uh, by the time we get to Monday evening. The satellite picture tonight, there's that northwest movement really has not veered much from that. And there's a center just now back out over the Gulf of Mexico, really able to take in all of that ocean heat content and likely going to be leading to some rapidly intensification of the storm overnight. Hurricane warnings for wind for all of the parishes of South Louisiana are Mississippi counties, Pearl River, uh, Bay St. Louis, Hancock County. Uh, you're under a tropical storm warning. Hurricane hunters are out there right now. They did find winds high enough to support keeping the storm at 80 miles per hour. And notice they put the center right there. They're not going to fly over land. Too much turbulence, but that indicates that that's where the center is right now, and uh, it's likely just a little bit further to the northwest than that. They're probably going to stay out there just a bit longer to get a full sampling of the storm now that it's offshore. So when should we be ready? This is our updated when to be ready map. The timing really hasn't changed. Tomorrow's our prep day. We have all day tomorrow and tomorrow evening. That's the good news. It still looks like by 6 a.m., that's when the tropical storm force winds will reach the coast. Now, the wind field has expanded. They've made the storm larger. Look how far the tropical storm force winds extend outside the cone. Remember, the cone just tells you where that's going to be, the center of the storm, but not all the impacts. By Sunday evening, hurricane force winds will be possible all along the southeast Louisiana coast with hurricane force gusts possible in the New Orleans metro area. And then by Monday morning early, still the possibility that we have hurricane force winds in the Baton Rouge area even as that system begins to weaken. Storm surge warnings are in effect. That's for dangerous rising water. Uh, if you're outside levee protection areas and you're under a mandatory evacuation, please heed them. This is our Q-risk storm surge model. Now, this is based on the center line. So if the storm goes exactly where we think it's going to go, and that is near Homa or just west of there, the most water is going to be west of Grand Isle, Golden Meadow, Cocodry. This is indicating in some spots near Cocodry over 12 feet of storm surge with up to 6 feet in the northern and western portions of Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Maurepas and the Mississippi Gulf Coast and east of the river. That yellow area is indicating up to 6 feet of storm surge. That's if it goes down the center line. And rainfall along and east of the center line, we could have widespread to severe flooding where those rain bands happen to set up. All right, more details on what we expect going ahead through the weekend in a few minutes. All right, David, see you then. Several